Uh, yo, Shalom Israel, all praise to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahushana, and double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone. Just here, just doing a, like um open forum, just a quick thing, so we're going to go into a couple articles, bring out a few scriptures, you know, just catch the essence of what's going on out here, man. Because, hey, look, if you pay any attention to the news, hey, you know that Paris just received, like, a fucking, a kick in the nuts from Satan. Like, Russia just got one of the planes downed out of the fucking sky by Turkey, man. With no warning, according to the pilot, there was no warning. Hey, look, it's get, it's getting lively out here, man. If you know anything about anything, hey, look, you can see World War Three is around the corner, and these guys are looking. Hey, the the um, martial law is hey hey, we're, we're three feet away. Hey, that time's coming very soon, man. Um, let me let me just get uh, <coughs> let me start off with uh, with just just a few a little article here, man. It's on a Bloomberg. And the title is China announces military overhaul to make army more combat ready, man. And hey, from the title already, you can just tell that's just showing the kind of spirit that China's in, man. Hey, Russia's been in that spirit as well. Even before China did the parade, showing off all them like all their military might. And now, um, hey, Russia, Russia, they'll they'll show off like their cutting edge technology, man. So they're saying, hey, look, man, we're ready for this war. And then imagine, as it like just after they've done that. Then Turkey shoots a plane out the fucking sky. So, like, what other time is it? What kind? Of, what kind of climate is that, man? There's a the time for peace and the time for war, man. When guys are playing war games, yeah, you might as well get Ecclesiastes three. When guys are playing war games. Oh, you you've got a priest. Yeah, I got a okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, Joel three and nine, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: prepare war, wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Hey, um, that's, that's what's happening, man. These, these guys are preparing for the war. They're, that's the mighty men, mighty men getting roused up, man. Let me, let me get into the article a little bit, man. So the President, President Xi Jinping um, announced a major overhaul of China's military to make the world's largest army more combat ready. And CIA said world's largest army, man. That's, hey, look, these guys are saying pushing out that world's largest army vibration. Do you think they're not getting ready for the war? Um, and better equipped to project force beyond the country's borders. And um, under the reorganization, all branches of the army armed forces will come under joint military command. Xi told a meeting of military officials in Beijing. The official Xinhua um, news agency reported Bloomberg in September reported details of the plan, which may also seek to consolidate the country's seven military regions to its fewest four. Um, the, um, the Chinese president said the reform aimed to build an elite combat force and called at all officials to make breakthroughs So um, on establishing a joint command by 2020. So, hey, look, these, these guys aren't messing around, man. The guy said he wants an elite combat force, man. So, hey, look, they've, they've got like over fucking like a billion in China or whatever the fuck the number is. So they're looking to, to like, hey, they've got the technology there, man. There's another article going into the robotics they're going into. So mm. these guys, hey, they're getting ready for that war to kick off. Oh, yeah, this is Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. Yeah. Uh, starting from the eighth verse to the point. A time to love, a time to hate, a time to war, and a time of peace. That's it, man. Hey, this this ain't a time of love, man. Hey, in Paris, where was there ain't no love in the heart of the city. They want no, they want no love in the fucking heart of Paris, man. They shut that shit the fuck up, man. Sacrifice. Yo, them man went in. That was that was a, a a delicious sacrifice for them elites, man. And hey, look, we look, hey, look, the brothers, we enjoy it when that shit happens, cause that lets us know, hey, our kingdom's that much closer, man. When that plane got shot out of the sky by to, um by them Turkish forces. That's, 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 hey, our kingdom is that much closer, man. Yeah, that's right. See, elite, elite, um, elites, Esau, well, Esau's the elites think that what they're doing is bringing their kingdom closer, but ultimately it's actually bringing our kingdom closer, man. Huh. These guys, they're not, they're not actually, like, all this going down, well, the brother had the scripture there, man, like, all, all this happening is, is just going to lead to, hey, it's going to lead to the, to, to the nukes flying, then America's going to be destroyed, Russia's going to be destroyed, China's, Hey, look, all these countries are going to get wiped out, man. It's going to be the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that right. rises after. I've got a precept. Um, I'll touch Because you mentioned about, you mentioned about um, this, the, um, the, the build-up to World War III being um, 
to do with us really. Um, Revelation the seventh chapter and the first verse says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Um, and I saw another angel descending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. So, yeah, that's, that's the only reason the war hasn't gone out, it's not out in full force already, man. It's literally waiting for the sealing. Hey, look, once the, the number 1,444 is, is sealed, then it's actually like, that's it. It's, it's, it's over. Like, the full force of the war is going to hit, man. They're holding back the wind, so that means that every hey look, it's already blowing, man. It's not that there's no wind. The wind's blowing, man. If you like, but guys, look, guys in the world, the sheeple, they they're gonna watch this. They just think, ah, you ask if you ask a random guy in the street, hey mate, do you think World War Three is gonna happen? They're like, nah, it's not gonna happen. That's because they don't know a damn thing, man. I got this. This is Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word. Be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Yeah, so basically, um, you know, the Spirit of the Lord is the Spirit of prophecies, and everything that's written inside of the, the, the Bible, the Biblios, has to come to pass. And evidently so, you've got everything that happened in the ancient world, the records of the, um, the, the kings of Israel, you know, certain ones got delivered, certain ones got um, punished, you know, certain ones were wicked. But it, it all happened, it's all a part of history. Evidently so, the kingdoms of, that existed before, they've gone down. So this is just another kingdom which has to go down. And the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, which is the rulership of the Israelites, under Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, in, in the righteous order, under King David and so forth, that has to be established, and that's another thing that has to come come to pass, which is the part of prophecy. And in order for it to come to pass, there's a few last prophecies that need to be fulfilled. Um, namely, the, the, the RFID chip spoken of in Revelation the 30th chapter. Come. And also, and not, the, the main thing that's going to bring us into the kingdom is through way of this um, Third World War. Mm -hmm. And um, the missiles. And the two-thirds being put to death. Come. That must, that, that must happen. It must needs happen, brother. That's mm. right. must needs. Hey, look, man, because, hey, the two-thirds, they're, they're, they're attached on, to this um, e um, fucking empire on, the hip, on his hip, man. These, them niggas, hey, look, them niggas in America, man, they're attached to his hip. That's why, hey, look, Esau can blast niggas out in the street and ain't no one really giving a fuck, man. Every time they get, oh, blah, blah. But, hey, look, every time a nigga gets murdered, they get some. They get some signs out. They go on the street. They say, "Hands up, don't shoot." And then they. Hey, but no one gives a fuck, man. No one really actually gives a fuck. Like the amount of the, the volume in which niggas have been dying. If people actually gave a fuck, would go down. So hey, look, man. Them two thirds. They're they're already they're they're just anything, man. Can't. They're cast off, man. They're spittle. They're counted as a heathen, man. Yeah, can't, can't. And well, like, you, you can't you can't beg a tyrant for fucking. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can't beg a monster or a tyrant for for some form of um justice or or um mercy. This this that's asinine. You go you gonna go to a criminal and you go and ask that criminal to punish himself. That's retarded as hell. Mm -hmm. You know when's the last time a murderer um executed himself? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's, got, it's a rare thing or or you know. Uh, how many times a guy just robs somebody and of his own accord turned himself in? You give him a choice. You no, the guy is gonna get away with it if he's got the power to. That's why he did it in the first fucking place. Mm -hmm. So you can't go to the white man looking for judge. Really, you gotta go to the heavenly father if you want justice. That's that's what this thing was about in the first fucking place, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jake, Jake's ain't going to the higher power. You you believe in the white man, he's God. So you go into him praying. That's what you're really doing. You're making supplication <laughs> onto the so-called yeah, white man, yeah. man. 
I got yeah. this. This is Jeremiah 30 and 14. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not. For I have wounded thee with a wound of an enemy, with the chastisement, with the chastisement of a cruel one, for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. And that's why you two thirds have to go, because you seek the so called white man for answers, instead of seeking the Lord. And that's why the Lord done given you the wound of an enemy, in which no matter how you think or what you 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 know you believe. The scriptures are always going to be fulfilled, man. No matter what way you think things are going to go, it's not going to go according to your, your, your wisdom. It's going to go according to, to, to the Lord's word. And at the end of the day, the Lord done set you up to be the, a, a, a nation of destroyed people, man. And the only ones that's going to make it out of that, that destruction that um, comes so swiftly is the elect. Other than that, the two thirds, like the brother said, have to be destroyed. It's of necessity. Imperative. <laughs> Imperative. <laughs> Imperative. Um, let me get this, man. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help oh, and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, come on, slap it, don't we? No, I was just going to say top. because that's a carnal man. And that's been coming out lately. Mm -hmm. The difference between a spiritual man and a carnal man. Because a carnal man looks at carnal things. That's why you, you, you niggas ultimately, the back of the mind, you know the white man has the military might. At the back of his mind, every nigga knows that. You know, you watch a million films, you watch a million sitcoms, the one thing is the same in all the sitcoms. The white man has the big guns, the laser weapons in the space and all that stuff. So basically, you worship him because of that. Because he has the military might on earth in the flesh. Not knowing that the heavenly father has, um, <laughs> I don't know what word to use to describe the level of power the Heavenly Father has, man. Transcendent. It's transcendent, man. It's, 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 <laughs> in, it's unspeakable power mm -hmm. that the Heavenly Father has. But you can't, you trust in chariots, you trust, not knowing that if the Lord gave one rough word, one word out of the word, <laughs> the mouth of the Heavenly Father, them chariots become dust. Mm -hmm. Like, they become a thing of the past, which is going to happen. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But only a spiritual minded man knows that. Whereas a carnal man can only believe what he sees with his own two eyes. So mm. what he can see is a tank, a bullet, a gun, white man, you know? So, mm. yeah, that's that scripture, yeah. Well, kind of, uh, that, that's a spiritual statement. Because at the end of the day, if you look into history, in the time of Hosea, um, I believe there was an army that um, one, of the, one of the prophets basically said to him, Look, don't He's worry. He's all right, Elisha. Um, yeah, an about Elisha. Um, I can't, I don't yeah, it was that. Elisha. Elisha and his servant, I believe. If you're not mistaken, it was Elisha. Well. In the time of Hosea, anyway, an army came against him. And it was like, basically, don't worry about that army. An angel of the Lord will rise against them. You know? Oh, oh okay. Sorry, I thought you were talking about the one where it says, there be more that be with us than, be, that be with us than against no, us. No, no, oh, no. Oh, so like, I thought you were talking about yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, man, uh, basically, those Assyrians that came against, came against Hosea, they were, they, that army was wiped out, man. Oh. You know, by the angel of the Lord. So, at the end of the day, when the Lord really wants to speak and use, use this, um, you know, the angels or whatever he prefers to use, you know, whether it be um, uh, natural disasters, so forth, there's been tons of floods that's been going on, sinkholes, you know, the news Tornadoes. just keeps on coming. So at the end of the day, when the Lord wants to speak, man, there's nothing that anyone can do against against the Heavenly Father. Yeah. I was, I was, gonna, let me, I was just going to add to that as well, man. Like, being carnally minded, that's like, just just like, n the niggas that are the two-thirds, even if they go, like, how, whichever angle they approach from, man, they all worship Esau, man. All the guys that say, oh, blah, blah, black conscious, them guys still worship Esau, man. They're going to say, oh, how are you going to come against the white man? He's got, you know, he's got the military. How are you going to come in? They're, they're actually still reverencing Esau in their mind, man. Whatever the fuck they say, man. Oh, oh, oh. So, like, all, all of them, man. That's, that's why the whole head is sick. Let me, um... um uh, can I get a quick yeah, precept yeah, of what you just on, said, man? Real quick. Um, Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation 
and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's so that. that's hey, that's it's 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 so it's actually spectacularly necessary for these niggas, man. Because like, hey, look, man, the two thirds, they they've actually that's that's all that that's all that's that's a lot they've been given, man, to worship Esau. Hey, look, man, it says in um, what, Revelation 20, man, and they wandered after the beast, man. Because even, hey, that's, that's, that's all they've done, man. Everything, like, look, all the power that America has, man, these guys is just like, bro, America going down is just not even something they could even make a joke about. Man, if you make a joke, like, hey, man, America, it's like, and then China's going to take over, like, <laughs> they're going to be feeling all uncomfortable inside, man. Because they actually can't envision it, man. That's how um, established well, in this place they are. A good example of that is when you when you at camp and you hold the America's gonna be destroyed sign or Babylon's gonna be destroyed, all right? Then when you see that when they see that sign, they come over and they laugh, man. They laugh. They think oh, it's funny and they start hurling racial abuse. But there's gonna come a time where the America is gonna be destroyed, but it's part of the scriptures. And what are they gonna say then? It, the scriptures does say in Revelation that the them that were made rich by her shall lament. You know, and cry, I'll be well for for yeah, the merchants. You know? Mm -hmm. And that's them rich people, man. These these even Edomites can't even imagine being uh <coughs> displaced from their country, just like those Syrians are being uh, uh um displaced from their country right now in the hundreds of thousands. They can't imagine that right now, even in Britain. They can't imagine having to leave their local pubs, local shopping centres that they have and having to be cast across abroad and just live there, man, uh, as the lowest people. Going into slavery. You know? But that's what's going to happen. They're going to be going into slavery. They ain't going to have no, no, no benefits no more, man. I don't know why they were concerned with benefits <laughs> right now. They ain't never going to see benefits again. Yeah, but you know what? It's, it's because America's the greatest country in the earth. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not, that's, that's what actually, it is. Yeah. And, oh, cool, this is it Chris Kyle. Yeah. Or whatever the nigga name from our sniper, because America's the greatest country to earth, and you know. wanted to, you know, he was a mm. super familiar man. He was a coon. That only a coon would say that. Man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Why do you want to be in the army? Because America's the greatest country. Anyway, America is the uh, militarily. Let's just be real. The motherfuckers spend more money on their military than all the other countries on the planet put together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, can I can I check yeah, something? Yeah. Hey, because there was um. I was watching like a BBC interview with um, I say B, I think it was it was on the BBC. I don't know if it were an interview with Putin. And then there was a guy that was saying, okay, like some reporter, he was saying, okay, why is it that Russia, they've yeah, it was BBC then, yeah, Russia's been saying, oh blah blah blah, they've been being very aggressive towards all these countries, you know, they put all this military might, they've been flying in other people's um air zones and all that bullshit. That's that's what he was saying. Then Putin cut the guy. He was like, hey, look, man, like that's like America has been doing that for you since the end of the Cold War, man. They've been flying all up into near the airspace. They've been setting up bases all around them. And then it's only very recently that Russia actually got in on that game, man. And they said, hey, look, America spends billions. Like, the amount that America spends compared to Russia is, like, I think it was five it's times more. It's, it's actually well, obscene. I mean, look at the amount of aircraft carriers they have compared. Yeah. They got more they're, aircraft they're, carriers than, more than everyone else, else combined. Yeah. You know how much it costs to fucking build a exactly. fucking aircraft carrier, man? And that's, hey, that's why, if I get the scripture real quick, mm -hmm. in the scriptures, America is known as the terrible. Um, Isaiah 29 and 20, for the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner. Oh, shit, slack it. Yo, man, slack it, man. It's the same. Same. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Get that back up. Slack it. Yeah, it's lucky. Yeah, for the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. Because America is known as the terrible one in it. Because they militarily, I mean, let's not fuck about here. They're not exactly Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? They have got you know them, and then plus NATO. That's why they're so proud. Because if you look at NATO in terms of military equipment, they really. They're really on top of the game in terms of military equipment. However, the the um the uh, what's it called? The other nations put together, they're not no pushover as well. But NATO is on paper in terms of equipment. 
They shit on everyone else. They shit on everyone else, man. That's why they're so fucking proud. But the Lord don't give a fuck. The Lord's still gonna make it where America gets destroyed. Exactly. <laughs> that's you, for you, man. you think that, like, that even... Uh, that, uh, let, me, let me get this before you go into that. Let me, just, let me just get this one, man. Daniel 2, 21, man. And he changeth um, the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. Mm. And who, who does that? Hey, Yahweh does that. Yahweh Bashem Yashai does that, man. Mm -hmm. So that's ultimately... Hey, look, America even getting set up in the first place, man. Imagine when... Um, what's this faggot's name? Uh, fucking Alexander the Creep, man, was getting set up, man. He had, he, had, hey, he had chariots helping him bust down strongholds, man. So... All this Esau got, that was the first kingdom Esau got, man. All the Esau got, it, it, since the beginning, man, they it ain't been like just, okay, Esau, he's just, oh, he's just so great. That's, that's, that's the vision everyone has, man. That's, that's the gross darkness covering the earth. People actually think, it's like, hey, let me get Isaiah 14 as well, actually, because that, that's, that's, that covers it, man. Because, hey, look, when, when these nations look back on Esau, they're just, they, look, they ain't, they ain't going to be like, um, in in the kingdom, people don't want to be thinking like, "Hey, man, oh yeah, wasn't America so great, man? Oh, I loved America." They they're actually not gonna think that, man. They they're gonna realize at that point like, "Wow, like this guy was a piece of shit. How did this guy ever get the fucking rule over us, man?" It's it's just now you how about shit, man. The veil, the veil, yeah, the veil yeah. is gonna be pulled back, man. And mm -hmm. hey, the veil is gonna be because you fucking white people, man. You fucking tried to outlaw the family, man. Like you you. <laughs> You went so far as the, you, you're not allowed to have a mother. You're not allowed yeah, to have a father. Yeah. You got. You can only have a parent. That's how you 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 ah you, 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 oh, man. You, you guys are the enemy of, of life. You know what I mean? You're you're the enemy of, of biological carbon-based life forms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it like yeah, that. You're the enemy oh. of carbon-based life forms, man. Mm -hmm. Because you you fucking. Like, you actually designed a system to do away with men having sex with women, man. God damn! That's actually, that's, that's unprecedented. Like, that's actually, that's fucking amazing. Like, like, who, what twisted fuck would actually do that? Like, hmm. that's how fucked up this Edomite is, man. Precept, like the brother just quoted Isaiah 25 and 7, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people yep. and the veil that is spread over all nations. Okay. Yeah. Oh, come on, because the so-called white man is the devil incarnate. Let's just get that out there yeah, yeah, yeah. for, for yes, the masses yes. to consider. Hey, hey, don't, don't, get, don't get mistaken, bro. <laughs> that's, that's right. Hey, it's the truth. You know what we do here is we call the white man the devil. They might, oh, oh, they get all thrown back and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it sounds all, but you don't understand that. It's, you got to meditate on that statement. And the more you meditate on a statement, the more there's only one conclusion you can come to. That this man is actually the enemy of life. I liken him to the nothingness from the never-ending story, man. He's, he's, he will destroy everything. Your whole thing that you want. Let's say you're, you, you are happy with life as it is now. It's not going to stay that way. Esau's going to do more. He's going to take more. He's going to take more. Oh, he, soon um, you're not going to be allowed to have no fucking women. Now you're you, you going to have to clone everybody. Then after that, you know, he's going to start making people with no penises and no... But, but uh, listen, I'm telling you, he's going to get to that point. That. He was going to start genetic and genetically... Oh, that's it's offensive that. for you to have a penis. And it's yeah. offensive to you to have a vagina. Like, well, look, so we're going to make it all penis, equal yeah. and you're going to have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm and telling you, man. Gonna the rough child's going to be the only dude on the planet with rods. Like. Yeah, pop you in the anus, man. Fuck so, you know. <laughs> That, I know, that's what they would do. I they would talk. They it's would. Gonna they get worse. Worse. That's, that's gonna the only reason they'll keep it. They'll be like, well. I was going to say, man, like, even when you look at anything these elites do, it's for their own benefit. The, the, the cons outweigh the pros. So when you look at the, 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 birth, um, the birth certificate, the passport, certain things were only implemented so that they can track you, not because it was safer for you. Now, even down to their technologies, that's more ways that they can track you. And that's that's speeding up more quicker. It's only leading uh, them eventually is killing you anyway. Exactly. It's speeding up more quicker where they're, they're using it um, through innovative ways to, to market it to you. But really, they need... they It's getting so peak right now where they need to track everyone 
Well, before well, this they, world war, they do. Well, you know, really, really, they're not gonna track everyone before. They're gonna kill you. <laughs> they don't need to. They already done, done the calculations that the world population is too much. Mm. They're gonna kill you, and then who's left is gonna be the ones getting tracked. A small population of five hundred million. million. Yeah. They're not gonna track seven billion people, man. That's that's a long thing. They're gonna kill. They already know how many of you are gonna die um, via um, famine. They already done the, run the numbers. They already done the simulations. He's saw him, fuck. He's a subtile demon. He's got simulations. If I cut off the food supply to this area, this such amount of people are gonna die within such a such amount of days. Hey, it, it, and you know? even hey, in America, man, like the fucking food, whole food stamp system. That's that's not even enough. And then guys that don't have money, they're they're already struggling to eat. This is just like when it only kicked in properly. Like well, I don't know about in the U.S. But over here, it only really kicked in like a week ago. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not even getting that cold. This, this ain't even full on winter yet. When it's full on winter kicks in, mm. then it's going to be actual, then it's going to be peak trying to eat, man. If you ain't got money to eat your house, you're going to be, you're going to wake up your fingers and numb and shit. Oh, there was a nigger woman when I was in the hair shop, pick, you know, picking up something for somebody. I was in the packy hair shop and this nigger woman was talking to the packy and she, the packy was like, oh, it's cold. I'm trying to, you know, packy's always trying to, Getting nice with a black woman, all he cares about is taking that money for the week. Yeah. And she yeah. was like, yo, I'm not, I'm not eating and I'm like, oh, this is not, you know what I mean? And there's a lot of people in London that actually, more people than you think, don't really afford to heat their house in, mm -hmm. during the winter. Oh, man. Big thing, big That's thing. a big thing that people don't really know about, man. But because they're young, they might survive it. They go to bed early mm -hmm. and wrap up in the damn sheets, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the old people just die, you know? Old <laughs> like, people drop dead. That's, a lot that's, more that's old been people something. Die recent exactly. years. Um, I remember there was something about last two years ago or something like that. Yep. Um, a lot of more elderly people were just dying because of the cold. Now, how is that possible? You know why that's possible? Let's break it down because the so called white man destroyed the fabric of society that people don't see. The uh, uh, society is supposed to be based upon relationships. This society is not based upon relationships. This society is based upon transactions. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? We live in a society that's based upon a transaction. It's not based upon... When you go into the law, the law is all about loving your brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? What did the Lord say? The Lord said, the Lord said look, the, the, really the law hangs on relationships. Mm. Love thy brother as thyself. Love the Lord thy God. Relationships. When you're in a society and you got relationships, you got a family, which is the base unit of a relationship. You got a man and his wife and their children. Then you got the mother, the father, the auntie. You understand what I'm saying? In that kind of situation, an old woman cannot die of lack of heating in that fucking community, man. Mm. Because the relationships be that are built thing, around man. her would be as a security net, man. They wouldn't let it happen. But you know what? When you live in England, there is no relationships. If you ain't got shit, you're fucked. Because ain't nobody gonna help you. Don't look. You can't look to nobody. You can't look to... You, you, you knock on your neighbor's door, ask them for a bag of sugar and yeah, see what's gonna happen to your ass, no network, man. man. There's no networking. Now, certain countries, people survive because they still have that... Um, old ancient mentality of we're in a social structure of family so they look out for the old people it don't matter if she's not your grandmother they see an old woman as as an old woman that you give respect to or old man as a you know what i'm saying like but esau society he don't want that he just wants individuals this is number one you're number two you're 42a you know what i'm saying like no you know you don't, you don't have no relationships man and that's what esau's done that's why you got old people Dying because they ain't got no fucking heating in their house when the next door neighbor just bought a, a 82 inch fucking um screen for their fucking you know what I'm saying? Just selfishness and greed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't gonna be like that in the kingdom of heaven, man. You're supposed to help the poor. You're supposed to help those which are less fortunate among you, man. Not just head up in the clouds, you got a bunch of people living homeless, dying and old people starving to death <laughs> like in the UK. One of the biggest fucking uh, no, motherfuckers from Syria be dying on ships to get here and shit like. Fuck. But they're all people are dying here, and this is supposed to be the one of the richest countries in the world, man. 
You so go white people to pieces of shit, man. It's take you straight, man, to your face. Let me, let me, let me. I'll read this real quick, just, to, just put off the back of what the brother said. Uh, this is Matthew twenty four and nineteen. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that are your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. Go ahead, bro. Hey, hey, pray not that your flight's in winter. Hey, because it's funny because winter just kicked in and the temperature's rising, man. In the Middle East, the temperature's going up. Over in Europe, the temperature's going up, man. That R. Kelly, man. Temperature's rising. Real talk. Hey, hey, it's, it's getting hot. It's getting hot out there, man. I've got to hey. read these last two verses. It's yeah. deep, uh, uh. If, if it's get, yeah, If it hits a certain, a certain temperature, man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get peak out here, man. So, yo, you read it like... If it happens in winter time, how much more so, man? If you, hey, if you have to go on the run, you have to go on the run, man. What, what the fuck? You ain't just going to sit there like... The Syrians are feeling the cold while Edomites are like, hey, it's my fucking country, no yeah, yeah, yeah. way. Well, guess what? These, these Syrians... They're feeling it right now, man. They man are walking for miles, carrying utes, everything, man. That's a serious ordeal. But these people over here, they want to smell that 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 activity that's got they're going through. Well, guess what? They're gonna smell it at their own doorstep when they they're afraid to go home. Yeah, exactly. Just like these French have, the people are saying they leave, they are going on holiday in France, or students are saying they're going home. But there's people that are living in France, they're stuck there, man. Yeah. And the government can do whatever they wish. Uh, this is verse 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor, no, nor shall, nor ever shall be. And except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be safe. So like you. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Hey, that's, that's the only reason. That's... The thing is, if, look man, if the elect wasn't there, if it was actually Esau's kingdom forever and ever, yeah, after this, okay. it, it wouldn't even be forever, it would like, literally would go like another 10 years, then it's like human race would just die off, because Esau would just make some next mutation or just virus, or just a natural disaster would happen. He would, a, a fucking hop would go out of control. But the Lord, might, the Lord might just explore the planet, man. Yeah, just so just, much wickedness. <laughs> isn't it? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Like he he saw us like this Lord, guy please, Lord, please, is is Lord. actually un he's unsustainable man, like they talk about sustainable fucking sus bro they talk about sus imagine this yeah they talk about um sustainable fucking fuels like their biofuel yeah where they have fucking whole crops of grains like the amount of like fucking kilometers of grains going towards like a very small amount of energy and they say oh yeah it's efficient but then you got motherfuckers starving, like that's how Esau runs his society man. That's how fucking retarded people are. They they don't even quit. I remember I got told that in school and I saw an article. I was like, this I was like, this don't make no fucking goddamn sense, man. This man's failing. Man. Exactly. Let me read this, man. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Now they ain't said Satan wasn't just ah from heaven for no no no. That's talking about this fucking cracker, man. Okay, okay. Cause, cause, look, man. When when he gets into the kingdom, man, he's gonna be slogging. Hey, look, Moab's gonna be that slogging off. Then you, they're gonna have like Prince Harry's gonna be Prince Harry, so lucky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, we, hey, let's say Prince Louis, whatever his name is. We'll still call him Prince, man. How about that? Prince Louis is gonna be there slogging Prince off like Louis. seven years old, but, but um, fucking pushing whatever, <laughs> pushing them blocks. And they're gonna be like, wow, this guy's in the same piece of shit predicament that I'm in, man. Like, yeah. what the fuck? It's worse because he's, <laughs> he's gonna be burned. He's gonna be burned right up. <laughs> Like, we're going to have two Taskmasters on Louis and one on that Moabite, man. Like, so he's going to be getting triple, like, double the lashings, man. Can't. Um, yeah, because them Edomites been living, Scripture said, fallen from heaven, right? Mm -hmm. But them Edomites live a whole, a, a lifestyle that most people on the planet Earth just can't comprehend. Mm -hmm. You're talking about billionaires, trillionaires. You're talking about you, no, yeah. nothing. When you're a trillionaire, there's nothing that you cannot have. Yeah. And there's nothing that you cannot do. You can, you can, um, if you 